and then Ms. Yang Tan. In convincing and proposing to the United States of America that censorship research should be proposed is in order to save thousands of lives. Advocating stem cell research to provide a healthy and fulfilling um, life for those who are, dis who are disabled and have chronic diseases. We're going to attack those incurable diseases by, by campaigning stem cell research. Have you had, have you ever had can, uh, have you ever had cancer and no, have you ever had cancer? Would you go to uh, chemotherapy and the suffering and pain, the exhaust, exhaustion and hair loss? It is a terrible illness and it's more and it's highly that you're going to die. Do you know somebody who has Alzheimer's? Your dad, your mom, or grandparents? Do you pretend every time you see them? Uh, like it's the first time meeting them? Imagine waking up in the morning and not knowing who you are or where you're at. I'm a, I'm a recipient of a transplant kidney and I know how it feels to go to suffering and emotional pain. After extensive, extensive investigation, I'm capable of present, after extensive investigation and personal background, I'm capable of giving this presentation. Today, I'll determine the policy that everyone in the United States should advocate stem cell research that 70% of the class support, feels that stem cell research should be supported and beneficial with ethic, ethical standards. 30 of you uh, are against religious beliefs. There are diseases that make our life miserable around us, and we should fight against those, those with stem cell research. Let's begin with the problem. Uh, uh, the problem pertains uh, with moral issues, financial, and in insurance coverage. Planning as God, experimenting with human lives, it's in its ethical dilemma. Catholics, Catholics and evangelicals <coughs> believe that sense of research is as bad as abortion, and they believe that life begins as, as a preconception and that, and that should be unacceptable. The bi biological fact is that a human, and human embryo is, composed of, is an organism, and it, comp it is composed of many cells, such as an, any adult. But the difference is that the difference is that that it is an organism and it cannot feel or, or reason. Therefore, at this microscopic stage, it cannot be classified as a human. So it's irrelevant to have this ethical dilemma as being a human being. Promoting stem cell research is a great, but now, but as of now, it cannot be covered with medical insurance or and it is, and if, and it is expensive for a medical treatment. Medicare can pro, and other private uh, insurance do not cover transplant or therapy for stem cells. So if you're enrolled in Medicare, it only covers, uh, like, if you're in the hospital, Medicare only covers $1,100 $1 for your stay for the first 60 days. After 60 days, for day 61 through 90, it only covers about 275 as a copay. And then after, after day 90, after that, you pay 550 a day. So that's just an idea how to give you that, how expensive it is. So, and now imagine having, and a, uh, a stem cell research therapy or, or a transplant. As you all know, uh, the economy is in a recession and, it's, and it affects middle and lower class. So I have to tell you that we're in a recession. And imagine not being able to cure kids because of government funding or other private sectors. And the consequences of that is just kids with cancer dying. Now that, now that you know the problems, let's look at the causes. The causes come from various sources such as government, I know we're Americans and lack of support. President Bush uh, opposed, uh, opposed to embryonic stem cell research because of, his, because of his ethical background. On July 2006, he vetoed his first, this law because, uh, yeah, his, this law, because he believes that, his, well, he's, and this is a quote, because my position on this issue is shaped by deeply on my beliefs, and I believe human life is, 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 is sacred, sacred from our creator. In 2008, there was a poll among uh, both party Democrats and Republicans, and 60% of the Democrats support uh, stem cell research, while 37% uh, of the Republicans don't. So that gives you an idea how people uh, view, view stem cell research. Obviously, again, the economy, um, you can't afford uh, the insurance or the, the therapies of, or st of stem cell research. So, uh, just to give you an idea how the, the Bureau of Labor and of Unemployment 
rate at this year gave a 7.9% of unemployment compared to last year, which is 8.9, which is a little bit of significance, but not a lot. So it's just to give you an idea that there's no way that uh, people can uh, can cover, uh, can pay for this, these, these type of treatments. So now that we know the problems and costs, let's look at the solutions. Since the term of Bush ended and Barack Obama has unbanned the stem cell research, he, in 2009, he uh, banned the executive order of Bush, which is 1305, yeah, 13, sorry, 13505. Now, federal tax money will go towards the National Institute of Health, the NHI, of stem cell research, which currently has 130 eligible lines for embryonic stem cell research. In order to see better health for government or from private companies, the, com the economy must prosper, and it's going to take a long time. And in, in order to, to change uh, the population from uh, the religious population to to support ethic, uh, the ethical and moral uh, issues, uh, we, we have to see outcome, uh, better outcomes for uh, for stem cell research. Another alternative is the universal health care, which Canada and other European countries have it. So that would eliminate uh, um, e economical and insurance uh, problems, and that would that would you know that would be that would lose a, that would save lives as we speak. So now that you have exposed the problems, the causes, and solutions the, of embryonic stem cell research, it is important to promote this uh, this great medical advance. Stem cell research in chronic disease such as Parkinson's, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and other diseases uh, are great for are great to support uh, stem cell research because it gives a chance for those who actually need it. Monitoring ethical procedures and and <coughs> and ethical uh, backgrounds uh, as plain as God, plain as God would would help shape those uh, misconceptions of, of mishaps and ramifications. And now that the government is promoting uh, this act, uh, it's going to be beneficial to Americans. So we still prefer to have your loved one uh, go to chemotherapy instead of transplant. Uh, uh, stem cell transplant or have uh, your loved one have uh, Alzheimer's and this it could save thousands of lives and I think everyone should have a, a, a chance to have a fun life. Thank you.